like to share with you uh, what are the experiences and what to expect when you see an Indian doctor in India. What, they, what she gave me. She had given me a diet plan. All for this, 130 rupees. There you go, four small and three big. Oh, also my zigzag, I gave it. This is for bread only. Hi everyone, mabuhay, namaste at kese ho. I hope everyone is doing fine at this moment. For today's vlog, I want to share with you my experience in seeing a gynecologist here in India. It is my first pregnancy in India. So this is my third child, I already have a two or uh, the first one is boy and then the second one is girl so both of them they were uh, born in different countries so they have totally different um doctors and different experience so this is quite um you know something interesting like because i am in india and i'll be seeing a local doctor unlike before they i'm in a foreign country so the doctors are foreigner too when different nationals so 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 this one uh, i would like to share with you uh, what are the experiences and what to expect when you see an indian doctor in india so the first thing after finding out that uh, i am pregnant already okay so i didn't go to the doctor right away like on the next day like what we usually do when during my first pregnancy and second pregnancy after i see the positive always positive and then the next day you go to the doctor but with the third one i already learned i know what to do so um i waited for some weeks like um after six weeks because i remember every time i visited the doctor before i would go as early maybe after five weeks because after uh, the first month you miss your period right and then after that you're gonna uh you will go to the doctor right away after finding that you're pregnant so probably it's like four weeks or five weeks but and then when i visit the doctor they would just tell me okay come back next week come back next next week so i was wondering why like that and then so then i knew it like of course they have to check on the next week on the coming week starting six weeks uh forward the heartbeat will be there so you they know that the the embryo uh, or or the, the one the, the embryo inside is develop, developing properly so this time what we did i waited for a quite long time so i wanted to go during my eight weeks so one day we were out um on a weekend with my with my family actually it was just i think if i'm not mistaken it was friday so i was thinking i will go to the doctor on saturday morning because normally night time you know it's too late so we just want to go on a saturday since uh, rates will be off but then one friday afternoon we we're already out until evening and then we saw this clinic okay actually it's the same um building where where uh, our family dentist Okay, so I went there. I was just checking out, so I so I would know which doctor I would go on the next day. I mean, uh, Saturday. So uh, there's one hospital on on the third floor, I think, and then but the the doctors were off already, so it's closed. I mean, they're not there anymore. Then I, I we went to the next floor, and then luckily the doctor is there. The senior consultant was there, so I grabbed the opportunity since I'm already there. I can see the doctor, all right, but. Um, I didn't know the doctor actually so I just saw the hospital it's very good and then I've checked it fast online if uh, she's experienced or what is her profile I said okay let me check I still have to see the doctor uh, if I feel good about her if I want her or something so luckily on on the spot when we went to that hospital the senior consultant was there so I was able to uh, we were able to to meet the the gynecologist so the first thing that they would of course they will get the, the details like um your history health history 
when did you get married, this kind of details, and um, any complications before in your pregnancy, infertility, and so on and so forth. And so, I gave all the details. But, like, uh, for me, I have infertility issues for four years. So, I had to narrate all of that and then these two. And um, after f uh, filling out the forms, okay, and uh, we, um, of course, they will check the vitals, the, B the uh, blood pressure, and then the height, the weight. And then, uh, after that, uh, they were asking me, again, to to take the actual pregnancy test. I said, no, I already did it. So they were asking for for picture and video. I said, I will just give you a copy. So then I, I, I didn't have to do that. So they didn't let me because I told them I already have it. If you want, I can give it to you. So then we're, we're done with that. So we proceed to the to the doctor and then there she is. Um, she's okay. She looks very experienced. And what is most importantly is she speaks English. Well, of course, there are doctors, they speak English. So. It was okay. The conversation was okay. So it is um, the first thing that uh, she did is okay. We we'll go to the ultrasound area to 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 check how is the baby's development. So luckily, just in time. So she she checked on it and then she told me that there's heartbeat already. So um, when I went to the clinic to the hospital, um, as per my app because I'm using a pregnancy app, okay. And as per my app, I am um, seven weeks and two days pregnant so that is the count of my pregnancy so when they check it on scan it's seven weeks five days and there's a heartbeat already so i was just like happy and then so of course it, it's confirmed i'm pregnant and okay so this is the name of the hospital or kid hospital and I, ivf center okay they're just like a family of doctors so here okay and then here and then this one okay so these are some of the details that they've asked me earlier okay um, and then what else okay so this is the scan so I already got the scan and I saw our baby we all saw the baby so okay and then okay this is the report already early pregnancy ultrasound scan okay so well everything is normal and um okay so they, they asked me to come back after 15 to 20 days okay and what is interesting about my visit to this uh, indian hospital okay I, I already had a previous doctor before on my first pregnancy she was also indian but with this one she's different because look what they what she gave me she had given me a diet plan what to eat at what time okay like for this one this is early in the morning 6 a.m to 7 p.m and then uh, you can have biscuits or, or or tea or whatever and then egg vegetable sandwich and then for for lunch okay she's advising me to have uh, vegetables okay and then yeah chapati like that so very indian of course and then evening sabji okay and then light she asked me to eat light okay i was just expecting you know um she would tell me okay don't eat non-veg because typically indians traditionally when, when you're pregnant they will ask you to stop eating non-veg right and okay so uh, she also prescribed me some medicines okay so these are the vitamins here that i have to take so i'm taking one two three four four vitamins okay and um she advised me to take more water and at least banana and orange juice okay and um so i have to go back after 20 days to do the nt scan and um different tests and also she told me that i will be meeting the physiotherapist i don't know for what is that but yeah it is something that i'm looking forward to because um i i have my scoliosis so it, my back hurts so i think it will be a great help for me if i will meet their physiotherapist but i didn't expect that you know with my two pregnancy abroad no one offered the physiotherapist during your pregnancy or early pregnancy so this is a good thing and then as for the uh 
consultancy we paid since this uh, she's the senior consultant we paid 800 rupees so I don't know exactly how much with the other other doctors or other hospitals so but for her she charged 800 per consultancy and then the, the medicine it cost me like uh, 2,953 okay and that's for 20 days so I have to take this medicine for 20 days and then when I come back again I think she mentioned that I she'll be giving me different medicine about the symptoms that I'm feeling lately with this uh, early pregnancy okay um, it's more on bloat and gas you know I'm just like uh, my tummy is totally visible now even if I'm not yet three months or four months it's totally visible because of the bloat and gas okay and um, nausea and fatigue that is the main thing fatigue uh, I'll get nausea if uh, I don't eat on time or if I, I feel so hungry and then I miss my meal so that time I'll be I'll feel nausea and then vomiting no not yet well actually even with my previous two pregnancies I don't vomit I don't feel uh, dizzy I'm not so sensitive sensitive my pregnancy were too easy but as they say every pregnancy is different so with the third one I'm still checking how it will be is it different or will it be the same but so far I still didn't vomit I don't feel much of dizziness that I want to sleep all day or for the longest hour but you know but of course frequently you will be feeling so tired like the, your, your level of energy is a little bit low compared before and especially when you're with the two toddlers so that's um, that is the main uh, thing that uh, or that my concern lately or my main issue or complain like I'm too tired I cannot I don't have the energy that I used to have before you know and um, with the food aver uh, aversion I don't have anything you know I don't mind smelling this smelling that uh, I don't puke when I smell something I don't like because I'm okay I'm okay with it but the sense sense of smell it's too strong like I can smell it's too sour I can smell it's too fishy I can smell um, you know like in the toilet if the urine or, or whatever I, I can smell the strong smell my sense of smell is very strong lately but so far uh, there is no such thing that I hate to smell and eventually I will puke because of that and uh, food cravings I don't have I never had I never had that even with my two previous pregnancy that's why you know um they're saying i'm very lucky because i don't have all of these dramas or issue like when you call it in the philippines uh i don't have those i uh, uh, it's just like my belly is getting bigger but of course my body changes you know uh, my tummy gets a little bit bigger i'm gaining a little bit weight now so um my hair is getting longer my nails are getting weaker so those are the the normal normal things that i've been experiencing lately but you know however sometimes i feel like i want to have food cravings so at least i can be so demanding with my husband i can ask him i want to eat this one i want to eat that one so he will find it for me but no i don't have those uh, what to do he's so lucky too at least i don't bother him to get what i want because i i heard like if you're pregnant if you have food cravings you must get that you know it's like uh, if you want it you want it so I, I i don't have that one and um what else oh okay irritation i get irritated easily maybe because i'm i'm tired there are so many things that i want to do but i cannot do it because i don't have energy anymore and of course i get frustrated i get irritated okay so so far these are the symptoms that i'm getting lately so i still have like one month until i finish my first trimester then i ho hope after that i can uh, get back my energy again because i need that daily in dealing the kids and um, with the house and, and everything well i'm grateful that i don't have food cravings because i am in india how can i even have the food that i want like suppose i want pork i want lechon there's no lechon here so some so somehow i managed to eat the same food that we're having normally have 
you know, like the curries, veggies, and all. Sometimes I will cook Filipino food, so it's okay. And then um, it's manageable. So uh, at first I was so worried about that. Like I can, what if I will have food cravings? Where I will get it? How I will get it? Who will get it for me? We are very far. And like probably when we were in Dubai, you know, you can just easily get whatever you want because there's a Filipino store. There is no Filipino store in India. Okay, going back to to my Ovigaini. So we will go back again after 20 days to, to see her and we still haven't decided if I will go to this doctor, if I'm, if I'm just fully um, comfortable with her because uh, I am very picky when it comes to my Ovigaini because um, my two previous pregnancies are delivered normally. You know, so I'm I'm too scared or worried. Like, okay, if I go to this doctor, and then uh, she'll deliver me by C C-section. Of course, I don't mind having C-section unless it is re it is emergency. But you know, some doctors what they're doing, you, you know that everywhere, anywhere they do CS as for money. You know, it's 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 fast. I'm just hoping that this pregnancy will go smoothly as my previous ones, and I can fully have the hundred percent confidence with my. Um, Obigaini so that I will be you know worry free that she will deliver me uh, normally of course with the gra God's grace the back so we need to pray we need to pray um, that everything will be fine because he's the one who is in control only and um, I will be keep on updating you on my on my next visit to the doctor so at least uh, whoever needs the information you will have an idea on what to expect whenever you visit uh, a gynecologist in, in India thank you so much for watching guys we'll see you on our next vlog God bless and keep safe everyone bye then you bye